Oh, it's real world time, and the royal wedding definitely on the mind of Kevin Steincross. It, you know what? Weddings all over the place in yeah. life and in the movies. Yeah. There's a new one coming out that has to do with wedding, a big wedding, and it's called Something Borrowed. You know the saying, something... Old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. That's the one. Yeah. The movie's called Something Borrowed, and in this movie, Kate Hudson plays a woman who meets a man who her best friend has been longing for oh, no. forever. Check it out. Trouble. Mm -hmm. Dare. Ask Rachel out on a real date instead of whatever <laughs> this is. Friend that asked me out. Uh-huh. Kate, the predator, she ends up getting engaged to that guy while her best friend still pines away. Uh. All right, you saw that pickup line, and it worked in this movie. Well, I asked the star, what is the worst pickup line ever? And here it is. If you were a booger, you'd be the first one I'd pick. Oh, my God. Isn't that fantastic? That, okay, fantastic. would that work on you, Kate Hudson, if you were single? Uh, you know what? Everything's in the delivery. Yeah. Uh. Right? So you could probably say the stupidest thing on the planet, but if you're really funny uh -huh. and you deliver it right... It might work. It just might work. Uh-huh. Would you it's use that line, Tim? Oh, I don't know. It sounds fun, though. Okay. Keep, keep it in your arsenal, yeah. you know? Yeah. You never know when you might need that one. <laughs> All right, Something Borrowed opens May 6th, uh, and you'll have more of my chat with Kate and her co-star John Krasinski from The Office. Gotcha. Coming up next week in the real world. We're talking marriage and monogamy next week. Oh. Ooh, look out. All right, another matrimonial movie that opens next week as well stars uh, has two different families from two very different backgrounds, but one wedding. You know what that means. Uh oh Wedding drama. More drama. I'm Claudine Watson. <laughs> Pam Taylor. Well, may I say that you've certainly raised a wonderful man. Well, thank you. He is wonderful. I wish I could say the same about you and your daughter. Ooh. That's getting scandalous. Not a good way to meet the in-laws. No. But that's how things get started in a new comedy called Jumping the Broom. That title, it actually comes from an age-old tradition at a lot of African-American weddings. It's a tradition, though, that's not as common as it used to be. I'm embarrassed to say, but I did not know about jumping the broom until I had read this script, and that's the truth. Mm -hmm. And But I would have jumped the broom because I love the idea of it, that it's sweeping away the past and jumping over into a new future. So when you get married, you're going to jump it? I'm going to jump it, right. you know. This, this film really convinced me the broom needs to be jumped. I'm Claudine. There you go. He's going to jump it. Got to jump it. Jumping the Broom also May opens May 6th. So both of these movies opening next Friday, not this Friday. And you're going to have more of my chat with the stars, Angela Bassett, who is still drop-dead gorgeous. Fabulous. And the hilarious Loretta Devine next week in the real world as well. There you go. Good stuff. Thanks, more weddings. Hey, stick around. And more Fox 2 News at 9 a.m. coming your way.